Good morning, Zodiac, and welcome. It's the heart spread. Uh, and my new digs here. Try to get some readings done before the sun hits this patio. And um, it's not quite as pleasant. But right now, it's very nice. Cancun, Mexico. Digging it. Um, doing this old family read. Manifestation, spirituality, love, relationship. Um, more focus here on um, spiritual work, ourselves, with the soul family read and soul work, then and uh, strictly love and romance with the both the uh, meet the soulmate uh, and heart spring. So the meet the soulmates, the singles reading, excuse me, that's out uh, now uh, every day. Um, same as the heart spread. Um, Mondays be Aries Taurus, and Tuesdays Gemini Cancer, etc. And I'll do all 12 signs, uh, singles, and the couple's heart spread um, every week. And I'll end up on Saturday with the Crows of Pisces Day. So uh, today, uh, you got Leo Virgo Day, Wednesday. <laughs> and. Um, Check out the singles if you uh, don't have anyone on your mind. The heart spreads if you do. Basically, that's the difference. Um, Ethereal visions. I don't really need my glasses to do this deck. I can actually see it. Man, I thought I had my allergies under control. It was like, oh my God. I finally had to break down and take uh, drugs for the allergies, which I don't like to take. Um, and our society is so mentally ill, you know. Natural things that come out of the ground, we can't have that, you know, go to prison for that, you know. But these concoctions that have never existed in the history of the world for billions of years until the 1950s, 60s, 70s, and the last few minutes, and we just gobble those down. But here we are, <laughs> this old family. <clears throat> New moon today, so manifestation, <clears throat> king of swords. That's what my mind's on. It's the manifestation moon. Uh, what's going on with our manifestation? Uh, we probably know what it is. Um, how can we make it better, Spirit? That's always my question. What can you say to help us around manifestation here on the new moon? Big time relationships. And on the 10th, uh, when they hit uh, Mercury, it will go back and hit Mars as it's coming forward. Mars got the sun right behind it. <laughs> You know, uh, think of that little feisty guy who wants to fight anyway, and now he's being backed up by the biggest dude you've ever seen in your whole life. <laughs> and he's standing out in front. The biggest dude just standing there. But the little one, Mars, he's out there with his uh, shirt sleeves rolled up and making a fist, you know. That's my feeling right now. I think a lot of people are missing how powerful Mars is right now. And it's personal energy. It doesn't have to be throwing a punch at all. Uh, but it is definitely uh, taking action for ourselves in relationship. And a king of swords is going to take all kind of action. So this is someone who's very self-aware, uh, uh, very vocal. You know, here I am. <laughs> Ranting and raving about the weirdness of the medical industrial complex, which is bigger than the military industrial complex, by the way. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> but that's, yeah, speaking out. That's like knowing your mind, speaking your mind. Now, in terms of manifestation and with King Energy, coming in like a champ. I mean, who better to manifest than the King of Swords here? Now, he's very balanced. You know, he's, he's got the raven whispering in his ear. Wouldn't hurt to Google uh, raven spirit messenger, but uh, passed over messages from uh, loved ones, not negative people. I'm kind of wondering right now, whispering. <laughs> I just heard, I love you. I love you. I love you, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, so uh, here's what's blocking, though. So think about the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And I hate to think about the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Um, that's got to speak to me about not being grounded enough, not being solid. I mean, I'm kind of just really having to try physically, and it's why I like to be outdoors. You know, it's not the ideal situation. I like to be outdoors. I like to have my feet on the ground, and um, that's just important to me. So I think I get this. I'm trying. You know, I was just thinking before I started this reading, trying to get centered, 
And I'm such a fire sign. I mean, I just want to burn. Uh, and so for me, just kind of grounding and calming down. And the universe sent me a gift to help me with this, uh, like a living example of what it means to be. It's kind of like uh, this Queen of Pentacles, ideally, not in reverse, but it's like wanting to be like a Zen master, like uh, someone that we've kind of mastered our body, soul connection, mind, soul connection, and we're kind of in this peaceful, grounded place as we go about. Um, and it's not exactly fire energy, to be honest with you. What's the advice from spirit in all this um, is the walk away, because this is moving away in our minds. And, you know, in terms of manifestation, I've written about on Facebook, on my page, um, I call it the walk away. It's the hardest thing for me. And as a, a Sagittarius, I like to make the analogy. We all know the Six of Swords. I like to make the analogy of the archer. And, you know, uh, training, uh, discipline, exercise, everything I don't do, <laughs> that's, it all goes into that shot. And right, but as soon as you release the arrow, it's out of your hands. Now it's in the hands of the universe. So it's like walk away is when, you know, most people, they're in a competition or something. They're going to be watching. You're so confident that you just let it go. And then you just turn away and smile and you're talking to your friends and stuff. You ain't even watching the arrow. Because you know that's going to hit. And I think intentions have become like arrows that hit their mark before even being flung. That's what I think. And so the advice here is to do the walk away on the intention. That's what this is. And, uh, you know... It, for me, the walk away a lot of times is like I, I've been meaning to do like a little bit longer article in astrology, uh, study something in astrology, and that's when I'll, like I'm saving that, you know, because I know that that's going to draw me. I'm a, yes, Venus and Scorpio is real strong, so I know I need something that really pulls it to distract me. The walk away is not easy for me. I think it's so important. It's, uh, it's not trying to control it, putting our intention out there uh, in respect and, and, and goodwill and, you know, faith in the universe. It's really about faith. Walk away. You know, it's like, you know, I did my part and I know that now, universe, you're going to bring to me what it is that I most need. Um, that's all it is. The moon is the outcome. Wow. So this is going to make the bottom of the deck very important here. I'm just now looking at the Ace of Wands. So here we're going to have the overall energy, the Ace of Wands. This is our manifestation, the fire sign, the projection. Uh, however we want to look at it, it's into our seventh house, I believe, our animus, anima. Whether this is a loved one or not, very most likely that's what we're talking about here. Or a very dear friend or child, something that's an adult, you have a relationship with them. Venus doesn't actually rule a, a mother, daughter, father, son, relationships like that. Um, but this is what this is about. Uh, it's the overall energy of absolutely wanting to manifest. And it does not have to be. It's not really for me about this relationship thing. Um, Venus also uh, rules beauty and can rule your work, particularly if you love your work love what you do and the outcome then is the moon card so i got to speak to hidden things and here's what i think it's really coming on me really strong with this moon which is a beautiful card uh, i'm thinking you know 12th house for me uh, and pisces for me is pisces is my seventh house um energies and i'm thinking about all the things that i don't see because <laughs> i wanted to get help for manifestation i kind of make a joke and i say what keeps me up at night the only thing left that keeps the night is what what is that i'm not seeing that's you because if you don't see it you don't see it um and i think that what this is is really going to test our faith because we want to this is pure ace of wands pure projection of fire, of intention. This is absolutely manifesting to me. But I think in the near future, we're gonna be left wondering. 
very simply, did it work? Because we're not seeing it yet. Walk away for a minute. It's just an analogy that you, you know, you're going to know when your arrow hits the target in a competition or whatever in a moment. Uh, but this could go on for a while um, here. But this is weeks, you know, uh, this is a daily read. So this would not be a long period of time here. It's just uh, telling us that it's not instantaneous. It's not like rubbing a, a bottle and a genie popping up and instantly granting you your million bucks, a million deer. <laughs> they always trick you, the genies. Thank you, guys.